name is Manuel Etzkorn. I'm Heisenberg Group Leader at the Biomolecular NMR Center that is jointly run by the Heinrich Heine University in Düsseldorf and the Forschungszentrum Lüch. So we are interested in structural biology, NMR-based uh, structural biology, looking in particular at very complex systems. So our idea is to basically pick questions that so far no one could address. And then we start normally by developing uh, tailored methods to be able to answer these questions. And then we directly apply these methods. And so right now, we basically have two areas of interest. So one is related to membrane systems. So in particular, G-protein coupled receptors. And there we would like to really understand how these very important proteins function in a native setting. So in a let's say, eukaryotic membrane. And uh, the second area is uh, biocatalysis, and here in particular, uh, DNA-mediated biocatalysis. So how specific DNA sequences can carry out uh, function. Yeah, I mean, both areas are interested, interesting for um, pharmacological applications. So, and both are also interested for interesting from a fundamental aspect. So basically, we are starting by really answering fundamental questions. So how actually a DNA molecule, for example, can really adapt a structure that carries out a function. And this function then is really important or could be important for therapy. So these so-called DNA zymes, they can eliminate unwanted RNA. And this has, has really some very uh, important implications for targeting several diseases like cancer, neurodegeneration, or viral infections. So this um, basically we really start by understanding the system and then we would like to exploit its potential later on. We actually see that sensitivity is better, which is of course expected. And we see that resolution is better, which is also expected. And this is uh, important for, the, for example, these DNA zymes where you basically work with unlabeled um, molecules and there you need to use homonuclear spectra. And you have many protons that are not very well distinct in at low, lower fields. And we really see now it's a 1.2 that we also start to resolve regions that we could not see before, let's say. And um, that can really make a difference, I think, uh, in the future. And we also observe chemical exchange or intermediate exchange processes. And we see that these are, of course, also different at uh, the higher fields. So also the field dependence um, is quite interesting. Yeah. So staying on, on the DNA, I think if we really manage now, and I think we are in a good way to understand the system, then we are able to um, modify it that it can work better. And this is basically the requirement to really use it for therapy. And uh, I think these DNA zymes can, if they really work, become something like the next mRNA um, technique for therapy. So this is really, if it works, it can really introduce a very powerful tool um, that can help many people uh, later on. So basically one limitation of the system is really how they are which is clear that they are limited in a cellular environment. And uh, so the next step would be to do cellular NMR uh, to really understand what's going on inside of the cell. And uh, of course, NMR is one of the few techniques that can get atomic resolution. And this is probably needed um, into the systems. And so our vision is then going to the cellular NMR and also include like uh, pure, so 19F NMR, for this purposes, of course. So this is for the DNA zyme project and for the GPCR project, we really need, would like now to use native membranes containing the receptor and then look at different aspects using a range of NMR techniques from methyl labeling to DNP enhanced um, spectroscopy. Yeah, so basically using our DNP approach, we get at least promising data that might indicate um, that we can at least detect ligands in a native membrane. And using the fluorine NMR, we also see, for example, complex formation um, of, of the DNA zyme with this RNA target that could be yeah, also carried out in, in a cellular environment. Yeah.